I don't know. She's on the grill right now. I don't know. Is, oh, is she alert able to talk to you? No, Bree. <laughs> Protesters have been gathering in uh, Washington, D.C. and many other Tonight, cities to mobilize racial against racism and, and police accountability. Tens of thousands of people in the demonstration. Before stepping my first steps, I was born into a world where not only my color is less than, but my gender. I was born into an unjust system because I was born a black girl. Um, I made this piece to bring awareness to the black women who've lost their lives um, due to anti-black violence and police brutality. Today, I'm just going to be briefly shedding light on the medical field and how it plays a role in this whole picture. Today, I will be reading to you a spoken word that is titled, Raw As I Can Be. And I will be presenting a statement about Juneteenth. Today, I will be reading for you a poem entitled, Turmoil. The poem called, Hey Black Child by Eusini Eugene Perkins. I'm sitting in my room writing this, in the comfort of my home, so they say. But yet, am I really? Am I? Brianna Taylor, home in the comfort of her home. Say her name. My name is Taylor. I go to Wesley College and I'm a nursing student. I made this piece to bring awareness to the black women who lost their lives to, um, due to anti-black violence and police brutality. Most of the time we see the black men who have been murdered and the women go on unnoticed, such as Sandra Bland and Brianna Taylor. And many may have not heard about Corinne Gaines, uh, Shanique Proctor, and Natasha McKenna. The poem that you see on my creative piece is included to serve as a reminder to every black woman um, of their importance, beauty, and their impact in this world. I have to be the change I want to see. This starts with raising awareness of the beautiful black women who lost their lives unjustly and sharing and participating in ways to help break the cycle and this uh, system created to further oppress our people. If you're not enraged by what's going on, ask yourself, why? Is police brutality not enough to make your blood boil? Is the violation of women's bodies not enough to just make you cringe? Is sexism and racism so ingrained into American society that protesting these injustices is un-American? Be upset, be angry, but do not give up. It's true, our nation is in a constant state of turmoil, but what are you gonna do to end it? You use my people to test your medicine cures? Why do you use my people as lab rats for medicine? Do you think the cure was in our melanin? Hello, my name is Livinia Harrison. I go to Holy Family University in Philadelphia, PA majoring in biology with the ultimate goal of entering the medical field. Black women, did you know? James Sims, also known as the father of modern day gynecology, also known as the man who made a surgical technique for women giving birth, but at what cost? Using underage female slaves during his experimental trials in between the years of 1845 to 1849? Oh, and by the way, anesthesia was not used. So could you imagine the excruciating pain that these women went through? I will make a difference. When I enter medical school, my goal is not only to put an MD behind my name, but also to gain a master's in public health. Black women, black men, we will fill the medical field. If they don't listen, we will make them. To be a black man in America, your color is a threat. You are racially profiled because of your black skin, your clothing, and because you always fit the description. Do you see me as Leroy? The man my mother and father raised me to be? Or do you see me as a statistic that is pending to fit your pre-made algorithm? Do you see me as a man I have fought 22 years to be? 
Or do you see me as a worthless nigga with no dream or ambitions? All right, fine. If you don't see me in that light, do you see my brother who looks like me, but doesn't talk the way how you deem good English? Who are you to set the bar? Who are you to tell me that my sister and my brother aren't good enough? Who are you to say all lives matter when you're not the one that's being hunted day in and day out? And one last piece, especially to my brothers and sisters. Stop trying to fit in to the small lenses of white Americans. Embrace the beautiful, huge image that Allah has blessed you with. Young King, no matter how they frame me, I will be strong and show that I am a dope young black king. I know my dopeness makes you uncomfortable, but one day I'll pray that I will be accepted and granted the same opportunities. I will be the voice because I am a young black king. I know people may judge me for my color, but I'm proud to be a young black king. If we were never amazing, how could you ever try to even put a price tag on my people? A price tag to my worth? You moved my people here. You needed my ancestors. Brought us with chains and put us to work. Take a minute to reflect. You needed my people. You let my people raise your kids. You let my people work your crops. You let my people. Please. Tired. You see my worth of my people. That's why you needed us. Juneteenth is the oldest known celebration honoring the end of slavery in the United States. June 19, 1865, marks a day when the news of the emancipation of the Civil War's end finally reached all of the slaves in America. Juneteenth celebrates a belated liberation for black people in America. Although the Emancipation Proclamation was issued on January 1st, 1863, it would take nearly two and a half years for Lincoln's proclamation to be related to Texas, and even then, not all enslaved people were freed instantly. Juneteenth should be a national holiday, but they don't hear us yet. Until they do, you should take the day off. Innocent lives still being taken away, and I'm supposed to look in the mirror and still see my greatness? Well, look, I'm a black girl. I stand for Black Lives Matter. I stand for my brother to have peace for being a strong black boy. I am full aware of my worth. Can you just accept it is my question. Hey, black child, do you know who you are, who you really are? Do you know you can be what you want to be if you try to be what you can be? Hey, black child, do you know where you are going, where you're really going? Do you know you can learn what you want to learn if you try to learn what you can learn? Hey, black child, do you know you are strong? I mean, really strong. Do you know you can do what you want to do if you try to do what you can do? Hey, black child, be what you can be. Learn what you want to learn. Do what you can do. And tomorrow, your nation will be what you want it to be. Less hate, more love. Less division, more unity. Less inequality and more equality. Less black versus white and more stand together. Less innocent lives being taken and more justice. Less stereotypes and more just get to know me. Less hate, more love, tired. See me as a black girl. See me as I see you.